Sometimes composers will ask for special effects on the tam-tam. For instance, you might be asked to play with a non-traditional beater, such as a snare drum stick or a triangle beater. If that's the case, just experiment. See where on the instrument is the best place to play to get the sound that you need for the music that you're playing. Another sound you might be asked to make with a triangle beater is a scrape on the tam-tam. When you're doing that, place the triangle beater on the tam-tam very slowly so it doesn't make any sound, and then scrape. You also might try scraping on the outside edge of the tam-tam. Another special effect you might be asked to do is to bow the tam-tam. Now when you're asked to bow the tam-tam, you need to pull the bow along the outside edge so that you can get the friction needed to get the sound going. A good way to do this is to press in this direction against the part where the string goes into the tam-tam without muffling the tam-tam and then press in the opposite direction with the bow to get the friction needed. Another special effect you might be asked to do is to dip the gong in water. This bends the pitch of the gong. Now typically the best thing to do this is get a, a smaller, lighter weight gong because it's very difficult to hold the instrument and play it as you're lowering it and raising it in the water. An even better solution sometimes is to have two different players. One player's responsibility is just to hold the gong, dip it in the water, and the second player's responsibility is to actually play it. As with any other percussion instrument, the tam-tam is an endless array of different sounds that you can get out of it. So experiment. Find the best sounds possible for the music that you're playing. Make sure that you listen to the sounds that you're making and make sure that they're always the best sounds possible.